My name is Abigail, and this is my almost aborted story. My pregnancy journey started like so many others. I took my prenatal vitamins, I tracked what size fruit my baby was that week, and I made it to all my appointments. There came a time when I was asked if I wanted the NIPT test, a non-invasive prenatal test, which could tell me the gender of my baby and whether or not my child might be developing any disabilities or chromosomal disorders. My boyfriend and I weren't really that worried because neither of us had any disabilities on either side. When we got the test results back, we found out that we were having a girl and we were so thrilled. As we kept scrolling through the results, we saw our daughter was marked as having something called triple X syndrome. We of course had no idea what that meant, so we went to Google. If you've ever Googled a health condition before, you know it can be scary. We read how our daughter could have kidney problems, developmental delays, and all sorts of issues. We also learned that we weren't the only ones newly discovering that what triple X syndrome could mean for our daughter. We were referred to a high-risk doctor as this is a disorder that has only become diagnosable in the last 10 years. After an ultrasound, a doctor came in and told us that our daughter could have all the symptoms we Googled, but there was no way of knowing. She didn't have much experience with these cases. She told me, your daughter will probably live a normal life, but let's wait until the lead OBGYN comes in so we can discuss our options. I knew at once what those words meant. When the other doctor entered, she told us that even she didn't know much about triple X syndrome. She offered to refer us to another doctor at a local children's hospital. Once she left, the first doctor turned to ask what we thought. She said again, I believe your daughter could be fine. Then paused, looked at me in my eyes and asked, so would you like to continue with this pregnancy? I was in such shock. In one breath, this doctor had suggested that either our baby would be just fine or, just in case, we could kill our probably healthy child. In that doctor's eyes, even the smallest possibility of my daughter having a disability issued her a death sentence. I looked at my boyfriend and then back at her and strongly said, yes, we're continuing. That conversation still brings tears to my eyes not only because of how difficult that experience was, but because I realized how many women must cave to the pressure that some of these doctors give. Our daughter is a strong and healthy girl who has excelled at every milestone. She is so perfect and loved and valuable regardless of her chromosomal disorder. If I had agreed to an abortion, I would have killed a perfectly healthy child. Disorders are not a death sentence.